Crip South Asia. What is Crip South Asia? Gender responsive resilience and intersectionality in policy and practice South Asia. Crip South Asia also aims to enhance activities through youth man engagement by reimagining the need of intersectional community by collaborating with mime actions, community storytelling, film, debate championships, action research, etc. One of the major portions of GRIP South Asia is community storytelling. It is centered around India and Bangladesh and it has tried in exploring the diverse aspects of the elderly and the old age home and it has also dived into the issues of the elderly old age home residents of both India and Bangladesh and had suggested steps to deal with this. The purpose is a gentle attempt to fill in the area with the object of enhancing the quality of life for the elderly in the institutional setup and also suggesting some possible solutions that could make the life of this elderly much better and also help them in avoiding social isolation and certain occupational and health related hazards. The area covered here is Kolkata metropolitan city of West Bengal, India and Dhaka which is the metropolitan city of Bangladesh. Bangladesh and India are neighbors in South Asia and the relations between the two countries have usually been cordial. So naturally, India and Bangladesh share a great bonding in terms of language, culture and social mores. Aging is the twilight phase of life, a phase where the human being finally learns to bid goodbye to planet Earth. Aging has now become a critical societal problem due to greater life expectancy and a considerable growth in elderly population everywhere. In both the countries, the concept of institutional homes for the elderly is relatively new. The loneliness, the neglect, and the lack of proper holistic care are rampant in many places and most of the older people come to terms with the existing environment although nobody seems to be really interested in taking care of their various needs however this sometimes causes the elderly to live in old age homes which is a little less miserable and less unbearable The person speaking here is Meena Ghosh, aged 75 years old, who is currently residing in the Boshko Punarbashan Kendro at Kajipur, Dhaka, Bangladesh. Her life is nothing short of a tragedy. Married to a PWD officer, she became the mother of four children. Her son eventually went on to work in the post office. In a tragic turn of events, the family lost its head and Meena became a widow. She was hopeful that her daughters and in-laws would take care of her, but taking cruel advantage of her naive nature, her children, including her son, gave her a false sense of assurance and threw her into the old age home. She was deeply disheartened by this action, and it was a dagger to her heart. This pains her till this day, and the thought of this makes her heart warm up and tears start to flow from her eyes. While she was unwilling to get to the old age home in the first place, this place has been nothing short of a paradise for her. Onima Choudhury, aged 79, who is currently residing in the Boshko Punarbashan Kendra at Kajipur, Dhaka, Bangladesh. She earlier resided in Chittagong, Bangladesh. She was married to late Kobindo Choudhury, who sadly passed away 15 years earlier. She was a mother of six children, five daughters and one son. Tragically, all the children have passed away, except for her youngest daughter. The daughter was married into an extended family. Anima was a stern believer in social taboos. Staying with her married daughter made her feel uncomfortable. As in the social taboos, a mother cannot reside with the married daughter. It was almost as if she was committing a sin, cannot reside with the married daughter. So she ran away willingly in the old age home without telling anyone. 
Onima has adjusted herself to its lifestyle. She lives here in a room with nine other residents, but she has tried her best to come to terms with the life here and generally consider the facilities here as satisfactory. Being a patient of arthritis, she thinks that the treatment and medicines she is receiving here, free of cost, she has no difficulty in getting on harmoniously with the other old age home residents and living the last phase of her life with a certain assurance in peace and security. I am Shifar Ahmed Shami. So I am basically uh, in my profession, I am a teacher. So due to Corona, uh, I have been chopped down. Since I am by, by life, I am a bachelor. Today, if I would have gone to the army, this would, I would not never have come to this. I call this a paradise. Now let me come to this place. It brings me here, but I, at the last leg of my life, I never thought that I will come to such a place. My, my one leg is already in the graveyard. One is hanging. So I'm now 69. When I get the whistle comes from upstairs, I have to go. It is just unbelievable. But there's one problem, you know, that is not very major, but taking many medicines, but it is not working. It is, it is basically due to the quality of medicine. Right. So if the quality of the medicine is good, if right. the quality of medicine is good, and it, if it works out, right. suppose I, I take calcium, so, I take right. calcium, that is Calbo or Cal D, 500 MG. Right. But that is not here. They, here we have calcium, that is 300 MG. Right. So definitely it is not going to fulfill my requirement. Right. So that is that what happens. So if someone takes care of us regarding medication Medicine. Okay. or food, right. I don't think we have any complaints right. because we are getting food three times a day plus two times we are getting tea. Right. Well, this is unexpected, it's such an institution. The people present here are elderly residents from the Baijum Old Age Home, Dhaka, Bangladesh, who have spoken about their lifestyle and condition in the old age home. Due to the rigid conservative mindset, most of the female residents were unwilling to speak except for one. Speaking about their condition, the elderly residents have stated that they're quite happy here and have come on their own terms. A few residents did not want to leave the country and settle with their children abroad due to the patriotic love for their nation. Social styropus have also influenced these residents to come to the old age home. Voicing the opinion of all the elderly residents in the old age home, they have stated that they are quite happy here and also described the various recreational facilities, picnics, etc. that is being provided by the old age home. However, not all the conditions are sweet and rosy. Certain problems are also prevalent, with the most significant being the health issues. Security issues are also quite alarming, as after 9 p.m., the elderly people are left completely alone. This is a big question hanging over the old age home as to what will they do if something happens to the elderly in such dire circumstances. <laughs> Speaking to the female elderly resident, she stated some more problems. The lack of a professional caregiver to look after them. The behavior from the authority and the staff, which is quite rude and questionable at times. The food quality being not up to the mark. And at certain cases, the female elderly residents may have to cook food for themselves, which is a problematic scenario for them, as most of them haven't cooked for their whole lives. While there is still room for betterment, and while a lot of work needs to be done to make this old age home seem a much better option and a new lease of life for the elderly, Rekha Sengupta, aged 75 years, is currently residing in Shosti Old Age Home, Rajarhat, Kolkata. Her husband worked 
as a government officer and after his demise she has been living on her husband pension she is a diabetic patient she had one son who was married the son tragically passed away due to an accident this death gave birth to a series of tragic events which would turn rekha's life upside down the daughter in law abused her in many ways she first took control of the entire property and named it after her this left rekha without a shelter she was also disturbed with the fact that her grandson could be negatively affected by this conflict she then decided to spend the rest of her life in the old age home this was made possible because of the pension that she was receiving she is living happily in the old age home in a shared room with her peers she is getting 24/7 medical checkup as the old age home have their own nursing home despite of having peace and security in the last phase of life the thorn pierced into her heart by her daughter in law still stings her to this day Uma Das age 76 is currently residing at Bholanandu Vidhasram at Bagpur Kolkata she came with her husband at the old age home and they decided to live together peacefully for the last phase of their life as they had no children who would have looked after them a year ago her husband passed away her in-laws belonged to an extended family but still there was no one to look after her so she decided to continue staying at the old age home according to her there is general medical checkup available here the food here is satisfactory according to her she has shown through her life that although there are various problems associated with life in the homes for the elderly she has willfully exercised the option of leading an independent and respectable life of her own without becoming a burden on anybody Shati Mukherjee age 75 residing at Asha Niketan Old Age Home Kolkata it must be noted here that this home is only for the female elderly Shati is an educated person and is greatly interested in cultural activities she used to live in Bakura with her husband and after the latter passed away her son brought her in Kolkata amar cheleo company manager amar boumao ngo manager cheler flat e bhalo chila ei shomoy amar choke drokoma dhora pore tara kewi barite thake na ha sob shomoy je kajer lok sheo pray dini ashe na sei shomoy ora amake ekhane dewar mane ekhane amake rakhar plan kore she was unwilling to come at first but her son assured her that they will remain in touch with her her son has kept that word she was uncomfortable at first in the old age home but now she is living there happily with her peers she has no problem so far in terms of medical food etc she has renewed her life and she hopes that her life continues to be full of peace and content Here are some suggestions for the betterment of elderly life at old age homes in both countries.
Oh, oh, oh.